I see. And how did you perform in IMO? Could you advance to uh, IMO? Yes. Uh, so actually, there were two attempts. So when I was uh, a 10th ten, uh, ten grade student, I was trying to uh, qualify for 2016 IMO. And when I was an 11th grade student, so last year student, I was trying to qualify for 2017 IMO. And so when I was trying for 2016, it was a complete failure. I think I'd, I was the last person among the candidates. Oh. However, in 2017, it was uh, quite well. So I did participate in IMO and won a gold medal there. Oh, I see. So you have won a gold medal in IMO. Yes. Other than being a competitive programming legend, you have a gold medal in IMO. That's so interesting. Yeah, a last yeah, time. Yeah. My, my actually way, my, my pathway to competitive programming is not quite standard. So I have a really big uh, um, proficiency in mathematics and much less in, for example, data structures or something. Yeah. It is, it is so interesting. Last time I had an interview with Omnic and he said that he advanced to IFO. Now I'm interviewing with you and you say you have a gold medal in IMO. <laughs> I'm trying to interview with C Legends, but no one has <laughs> experience yeah, in IOI. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I knew that he was trying to come to IFO uh, much earlier than you, but still it was a surprise for me. I never, yeah. I would never thought. Yeah, that was very interesting for me as well. Uh, so, as someone who has a gold medal in IMO, so you're, you're really good at mathematics and you have a lot of insights about mathematics. What is your opinion about the relationship between mathematics and competitive programming? You're a grandmaster in competitive programming, you're a hero, and you also are an IMO gold medalist. Did that experience in mathematics help you to be better in competitive programming? What is the relationship between these two? Yeah, definitely. The relationship is very tight. So basically, you need to solve problems in both uh, types mm -hmm. of Olympiads. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there are some details. So, for example, in mathematics, your main product is like a proof of something. So mm -hmm. you need to write a text on a piece of paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember some very, when I was like a five grade student, I was participating in Informatics Olympiad and I wrote a code on paper. It was an unforgettable experience. It was the only Olympiad that I participated in Informatics, which was on a paper. Oh, interesting. But, but uh, on mathematics, it's uh, a common thing. So your product is several proofs. And in informatics, your, uh, your product is uh, some code which should work. Mm -hmm. And you shouldn't, you, sh you, sh you should try to prove it, but if you fail, it's, it's okay. Yeah. You should feel <laughs> that it should work. So it's a bit different paradigm. For example, I've been trying uh, to teach several CP students right. uh, in some summer schools, for example, and uh, they're quite, uh, they, they did not really feel that you should try to prove everything. So it's, if it feels right, like, uh, right, then it's fine. And in mathematics, you kind of need to understand how to prove everything. Oh. Because even if you don't prove even a little detail, it might uh, result in point uh, deduction right. and you don't want that. So you believe that the difference is that in competitive programming and in IOI, there's less uh, sensitivity, sensitivity to prove everything and uh, people are more uh, people are okay if they do not formally prove something. Probably yes. Uh, other than that, I think they're quite uh, quite similar. So in both Olympics, you have some part when you need to create some ideas. Right. In both of them, in both of them, there are some technicalities. For example, in mathematics, sometimes you understand what you need to prove, you understand mm. perfectly how to prove it, but it will still take like two or three papers of text 
just because you need some algebra, some mm -hmm. else. Yeah, I see. And can you say that all those time and efforts that you put for IMO, that you had for IMO, they also were training for uh, competitive programming as well? I mean, can we say that uh, they served two purposes? I mean, you spent the time on solving mathematic problems, but that also helps you to grow in competitive programming at the same time that it was helping you to grow in for IMO. Can we somehow say that uh, in here? I think yes. For example, um, so we have all Russian Olympiad in mathematics and all Russian Olympiad in informatics. Yeah. And actually, I was only preparing for mathematics, but before I believe eighth grade, mm -hmm. I I decided to learn C plus plus. I found a book. Right. And I read several chapters of this book, and I somehow learned C++. Now I understand that I did not learn it uh, well in terms of competitive programming, because I did not re read, some, uh, read some chapters. For example, I, in 8th grade, I didn't know that there was STD sort. So when I need to, needed to sort an array, I just wrote my own merge sort. And after uh. some Olympiad, my... Uh, my classmate said, why are you doing this? There is a sort. Oh. Why are you spending time? <laughs> right. <laughs> so you were always implementing that all by yourself. Yeah. So for the, at the beginning of ninth grade, I basically uh, uh, was good at math. And in informatics, I only knew some like very basic algorithms and uh, C++. And mm. this was enough to qualify for all Russian Olympiad in informatics and get uh, second prize. Oh. So, so I, actually they were really connected, really well connected. I only needed to write some very basic uh, stuff uh, to debug maybe my programs. Uh, so you could I'm also advance to... You could to solve problems. Yeah, so you could also advance to IUI. You were the second place. No, no, no. Second prize is not the second place. Second prize like... Oh, second it's like prize. like silver medal. Okay, second prize. Uh, I there were no bronze medals, so like several people go uh, get I uh, see. gold medal and several people go uh, get silver medal. I see, yeah. That's also the same. You know, I had Olympias in Iran. In Iran, it was like eight people get gold medal, 16 people silver medal, and 16 people bronze medal. Yeah, I see. So they, uh, it was like a silver medal. Yeah. So. Okay, as so well, in, in Russian Olympics, sorry, uh, yeah. say, in Russian Olympics, there are no more gold and silver medals, but there are also more participants, I guess. So in total, both gold plus silver medals should get at most forty-five percent of participants. Oh, I see, I see. Interesting. So, as someone who is an IMO gold medalist, what are the best resources to learn mathematics? related to competitive programming i mean you are you are experts in mathematics i mean what do you suggest to people if because that's the question of many people that's how can i learn the related mathematics and is there anything that you would suggest to them my answer will be a bit a, a little bit dull but i in my like Olympia journey, I always had some good coaches. So in mathematics, right. I, I learned in kind of best school in St. Petersburg, and there is best, in my opinion, mathematical center for gifted children. Mm. So I learned there. Also, I learned informatics. Uh, Andrew Stankiewicz gave me some good contests. So he, he is uh, a great coach for Itmo University, but he is also a coach for high school students. Yeah, so, so, yeah. so you have great coaches? Some coaches? So basically when I needed some new algorithm or when I didn't know how to solve problem, I basically can just, and uh, could and still can uh, ask questions to more talented in programming people. Oh, so you think they were, they, uh, there were uh, great people who were able to help you and they were the best resources? Yeah, and they also, maybe they 
read some resource, so I can just read the same resource which they, they advise. Or they had a lecture, so somebody taught them the necessary algorithm. Well, the, a question that arises here is that what if for someone, if someone does not have access to someone with this good expertise that they can get help from, how can they grow? 